What's up YouTube, Ryan aka The Lucky Schmuck back here again with another video for you and today I'm going to show you guys how to drill a tank. Let's get started. First things first, you're going to need a tank. Yes, even the 10 gallon tank. I ended up drilling every single tank you see behind me. That's eight 10 gallon tanks and eight 20 gallon tanks with no issues. So if you're afraid about drilling a tank, no worries. It's simple. Let me show you how. Once you have your tank, you're also going to need a drill. I recommend using a corded drill, or if you have a battery operated drill, make sure you have extra batteries just in case, because you want to have plenty of power. Um, you're also going to need a piece of plywood to use as a guide. Um, I'll explain this in a second, but you just need a scrap piece of plywood. You'll need a diamond coated drill bit. Now, to determine what size you'll need, you'll have to see what size overflow you're going to use. And depending on what size overflow you use, it'll tell you what size diamond hole drill bit you'll need. You're also going to need another drill bit to drill this hole through the wood. You'll need some masking tape or duct tape, and you'll need some type of clamp. Once you have all that, we can get started. So here we have the, uh, the guide essentially set up, ready to go to start drilling the first aquarium. I just cut a piece of plywood um, into a small little rectangle use this clamp to hold it there, kind of took one of the, using half inch overflows, kind of stuck that there, drew a line around it in an area I thought ended up being a few inches down or a few inches over from one of the corners. Um, next, what I'm trying to do with this is get, this is the diamond coated drill bit that we'll use to drill through the glass, okay? I didn't want to use it to drill through the wood, so I used a wood bit to do that. And I, as you see, I made it slightly bigger, so that way, when this is going, I don't have to worry about it moving too much. And I can kind of pour water in there um, as I'm drilling, because when you're drilling, you want to keep water on it. it help go low and slow, and it should be okay. Um, so yeah, then I use this unibit drill, essentially, to kind of get it to the size I wanted. To go a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger, and keep testing it, and now I'm at the perfect size where it's just a little bit bigger than the diamond drill bit. So I'm gonna get this set up outside next to the hose so we can keep water on it while we're drilling the first tank. Also, if you notice, there's a blue through there. So I put some tape um, underneath where I'm gonna be drilling. So that way when the piece falls, it doesn't fall all the way, I can essentially catch it. So let's get started with the first tank. So as you can see here, I set up the tank on a table right outside the garage next to a hose and I affixed the hose to the setup with the clamp and I set the hose to a continuous kind of dribble right towards the hole. Now you definitely want to make sure before you get started that the glass is not a tempered safety glass. If the glass is tempered safety glass, this will happen as soon as you start to drill. The key here is to go slow. You'll notice I have two hands on the drill. That is not to apply a lot of pressure. Actually, that is to kind of hold the drill back so that gravity is touching the glass, but not much else. It's especially important to go slow at first while the bit is just getting the groove. And once you get growing, you can pick up the speed a little bit, but it's still important to not go too fast. Patience is key here for sure. Depending on the size of the tank, that will affect the thickness of the glass. And obviously the thicker the glass, the longer it will take. I was able to drill eight 20 gallon long tanks and eight 10 gallon tanks with the same uh, drill bit. Now I did notice at the end, it started to take a little longer. I wouldn't recommend it. The drill bits do have an exhaustible lifespan, although obviously one bit should be enough for at least a handful of tanks. Once you get going, there's really no special thing to it. Like I said, you just kind of want to take your time. It'll be a few minutes. You don't want to apply pressure. The longer it goes on, your arms may get tired. Take a break if you have to, especially after you're drilling 16 tanks in a row. You'll notice some glass dust starting to build up. It's not a bad idea to take a break every once in a while and maybe kind of uh, flush that hole clean, especially in a larger tank. As you're getting close to the end, it does start to feel a little different. And then before you know it, the glass piece will pop out the other end. 
but not all the way because we have that duct tape or in my case I use painters tape that way it doesn't leave a residue on the inside of the tank. I hope you guys learned something and now feel comfortable drilling a tank yourselves. Please subscribe to check out more videos in the future on how to run a fish room as well as stocking and updates on everything you see here.